Hi guys, Autumn here today to do my OWL's TBR. Um, this readathon is called the Magic Readathon. Um, this starts on April 1st and goes until the following, um, to the end of the month of April, so April 1st through the 30th. Um, and there are a lot of details, which I'll leave the announcement video and like the website where you can find all of this. There are, um, careers you could pick, um, and, um, there are 12 prompts, I think, um, and those are depending on what career you choose. Um, so this is my first time doing the magical readathon. Um, I've actually never read Harry Potter, so there's that. Um, but with everything that's going around the world, going on around the world, I decided um, to take part in this readathon um, to take my mind off of things. Um, so I picked the career of Hogwarts professor. So there's seven um, OWLs that I need to pass. Um, so it's a subject you wish to teach, uh, defense against dark arts and five additional subjects of your choice. Um, so I have all of them um, listed on in my journal so i'm going to tell you what i chose and what book i plan to read for those um so for the defense against the dark arts um the prompt is grin walls uh, and i'm just gonna say sorry to how i pronounce these things so, um, that is a book set at the sea coast, and for that I picked, um, the sea, or, wow, sorry, the beach in, um, winter by Leslie Pike. Um, this is a romance reveal book, um, that I got, I think, last month, or the month before. So, I think this takes place in, oh, this says it takes place in, um, Montana, so I'm sure it has a sea coast um, by it because I see the ocean and it has a beach in the tile. So yes. Um, then Muggle Studies is what I want to teach, um, and for that it is a book from a perspective of a Muggle um, or a contemporary, and for that I actually don't own a copy of, and that I'm going to read Always Enough by Kelly Elliott. It comes out in the month of um, April, so I will be reading that. I mean, I will have been, I would read that book anyways. So I figured why not put it in this TBR. Of course, I'll, I read mostly contemporary books, so that is interchangeable. But for that, I'm thinking it's going to be always enough. Then I picked Ancient Ruins, which is the heart root room, which is hard on the cover or in the title. For that, I put I picked Way to My Heart by Barbara C. Dolly. Dolly, sorry. Um, and this is, again is a um, Romance Revelle book box book, and it looks very cute and light, and um, so I'm excited. And it is signed, as I said, it is a thing, so there's that. Then the next class I chose was Charms, which is Lucima Maxima, or something, which is a white cover. And for that, I picked um, Fighting Fate by Linda Cage. Um, this is book one in the, um, I forget what university, it's something university um, series. Um, but... This is my uh, primarily white cover, so yes. Then um, I did the class for divination, 
which is third eye, which is assign numbers to your TBR and use a random number generator to pick your next read. Um, for that, I picked eight books um, that I would like to read. And um, these are um, books from my top ten things I need to read. Uh, I didn't include two of them because I didn't really feel like reading them this month. Um, so yes, so here are them and I am going to pick pull up random.org right here and we'll do it live. Sorry, I should have already had this up and ready, but I didn't. And I need to... Okay, so I put 1 through 8, generate, and it's number 4. I don't know if you could see that. That's... I don't think you could see that, but it's number 4. So I'm going to count. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, which is Loving London by... um. Ellie Wade. I have the whole series of this, so if I enjoy this, I will continue on with the series this month, probably. And it is signed. Um, I did meet her two years ago. Um, so, and I've read one book by her, and I really enjoyed it. So, yes, I'm excited to read this. Um, yeah. So there's that one. And then, um, her, herbali, Herbology, sorry, um, is my next class, and that is, I'm not even going to try to say that, but essentially, you are to read a book that starts with an M. Did I grab that? I don't think I grabbed that. Um, I forget what I was planning on reading for this. Um, yeah, I don't remember. I, I just had it in my head, but I, I honestly can't remember. So I'll add it in the comments once I figure out what that is. And then, um, potions is the next class I read. Um, and that is shrinking solution. So book under 150 pages. And for that, I'm going to read until Brandon by Natasha Madison. Oh, yes, I remember. Uh, uh, the M1 was going to be another Natasha Madison, and it was mixed mixed into love book by Natasha Madison, which I do have um, somewhere. Um, I don't remember exactly where it is in my little thing. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. And if I can. Mixed Up Love by Na Natasha Madison. Um, I'm just going to make try to make my way through all of her books um, that I own. This is 191 pages. Again, off so short. Um, so I have two Natas Natasha Madison books and whatnot. Um, so here is my TBR plus one. And... I think this is manageable. I actually haven't read anything this week. Um, so, yes. But seven books should not be a problem. Um, I am only working three days a week now. Um, so, I'll have four days off um, for the time being. I don't know how long that's going to be. Um, but... Anyways, that's my OWL's TBR. Um, if you're participating, what are you planning on reading and what career did you choose? And if you've read any of these books, what one should I start with? Also, stay safe um, and wash your hands and just please be safe. And I hope everyone's doing okay um, being locked up or self um so please be careful, um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.